ओके गाइस हाय यू आर विन आरडी बिजनेस मेंटर सोशल एंटरप्रेन्योर नेटवर्क मार्केटर हाउ टू बिल्ड ह्यूज मोमेंटम इन योर बिजनेस द थ्री की थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू डू टू बिल्ड अ फेनोमेनल अमाउंट ऑफ सक्सेस इन योर बिजनेस इट डजंट मैटर इफ इट्स अ नेटवर्क मार्केटिंग बिजनेस इफ यू आर इन सेल्स और इफ यू आर इन एनी काइंड ऑफ सेल्स मार्केटिंग सर्विस रिलेटेड बिजनेस नंबर 1 नंबर 1 थिंग consistency is key now let's take it easily and talk about a workout you are not going to do two or three workouts and man you feel good you burn some calories um and think you're going to lose 10 pounds you're going to lose 10 pounds by eating right sleeping well believing you can do it getting up doing the workout and doing consistently day after day or if it's a five day program five days a week but consistently 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 just like and then you start seeing a snowball momentum building a great book that i refer here is the slight edge by jeff olson and uh, darren hardy also has a great book about doing the little consistent things um and we will uh, once we post this on our blog uh, we will put those links in our blog post um so you can go and know where to grab those books um but it really talks about doing the little things and you know it adds up and eventually that little little bitty piece of snow becomes a, lo- a little snowball and becomes a bigger snowball and if you keep building on it it becomes big and then it massive becomes so massive that when it starts rolling it is unstoppable but the only way to get it to the point where it is rolling and becoming unstoppable is that you have to add those little bits every day so it can become more and in network marketing specifically and in sales nothing more than prospecting marketing yourself on a consistent basis prospecting on a consistent basis you have to do the activities if you choose to prospect 5 days a week then you do it 5 days a week for an hour if you decide i'm sending out 5 messages or making 5 calls a day or go for 5 no's a day or maybe it's 10 or maybe it's 20 like some people do then that is what you do when you decide you market yourself you are regular with your blog posts your emails and uh your 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 live videos just want to remove this thing here so that is the one thing that is absolutely super critically important is to be consistent in what you do be consistent in motivating your team be consistent at giving love give, at giving praise at being consistent at being grateful uh being consistent with your morning routine getting up working out doing your quiet time meditating you know building and reading and doing personal development be consistent uh in anything i cannot say that more often than not then well important is to be consistent nobody can become a master in what you do if you are not consistently working on that all great athletes work their butts off on a consistent basis and they have discipline now the other two things that i want to say that is very important to build huge momentum in your business number 1 is energy transfer and I go back to the book no think and grow rich from napoleon hill as well as um uh, vibrational money immersion th- which is think and grow rich for network marketers from my mentor ray egden all four of these books that i've mentioned will be put up on our blog for you to grab so guys energy transfer works like this you have to show up in a great state and the best way to show up in a great state is to be in a state of gratefulness because if you're grateful how can you be grumpy right and how can you be unhappy <coughs> excuse me and if you say well there's a lot of things going on in my life i want you to start thinking about all the things you're grateful for and start writing them down and i i will just dare you to go and make a list of 100 things that you are grateful for and email it to me at coachrockbidu@gmail.com and I'll look it over and I'll rejoice with you because once you get to maybe 20 on the list how can you still not be grateful anymore right you have to be grateful and when you're grateful and you're positive and you feel good and you know that motion causes emotion you you know make a few moves you dance a little bit and when you go see that prospect or make that call or send that message pray about it if you're a believer um or pray whoever you want to pray to and then make sure your your energy is up that when you send sending that you sending it in a state of energy 
because in the universe it works like this. There's a big, there's a big vacuum. And when you taking this and you pay, taking this energy and you moving that out of it, it has no choice but to fill it back with the same kind of positive energy. And that positive energy is going to be somebody interested in what you're saying or you're making a sale or you giving somebody advice or you just making somebody's life better by what you say to them. Because it's not always about selling, but it's about leaving people better off than what you found them. Very important. So you've got to know about that energy. You keep putting that out there and eventually the vacuum is so big, it has to get filled. It is just that simple. I dare you, to, if you haven't read the book, Think and Grow Rich, go read it with an highlighter and we on the link that we're going to put post for you guys in my blog post. And, and we're going to do that blog post tomorrow, which is on Wednesday. We will specifically let you know what one to get because it was written many years ago. And now there's one written in a more modern day language, which is a lot easier to read. Now, also, if you do your, if you pray and believe, if you do your visualizations and see what you want and what you, uh, what you want out of life, what your ultimate goal is, what you want to reach. I see that plane being filled full of kids that I sponsored to go on a mission trip to orphanages in India. I also see that house overlooking the North Shore and having a plunge pool, an uh, infinity pool, a hot tub and two barbecues on each side and on the bottom floor, um, a gym, a sauna and uh, my office. I see that. That's my visualization. Now I affirm that. I affirm all the things that I'm grateful for. I affirm what I want to be and I affirm it in present tense and where I'm going to. And then when I do that, when I visualize, I affirm, I meditate to quiet my mind, I pray, and I combine it with being in a great state, being grateful and positive energy. That is when I both believe. And then when you're with consistency, results come. With all of this, results come because the vacuum is getting filled, you're doing the work, eventually that seed sprout and it grows and it produces seed again, but lots of it. And all these factors are very important to bring it all back together so that there's growth and that, that is what will create massive momentum. Even if you do the, just the other part, but you don't put the belief and the energy behind it, the snowball is not going to get very big. When the consistency lacks a little bit, the energy and the belief is going to carry you. And in all things, there will be disappointments, guys. There will be people just backing out. And you have to know that that is just not you or your business or your company. It is just the way people are. And that you know that that is part of it and it will happen. But belief will keep you going. And so when somebody would cancel something that they purchased from you or not use it, um, they bring something back in that vacuum. All you do is you go plant the seed and create an opening again, right? And you'd say, why did something negative come in? Well, there's always good and bad with everything. And sometimes we have negative thoughts that causes some of those things to bring it in. I believe positive. I believe the right thing. And I know that what I put out there will come back in multiple folds for me. So guys, here's the three again. Consistency in what you do. Energy transfer, super, super important. I'm referring back to the books again. And then belief in all of that. And belief comes from a strong mindset. I really, really hope that this gave you some value. If you got some value, please type in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. Please share and please tap the screen to give me some hearts and likes when you're watching the replay. This is Johanna Venardi. Aloha. God bless. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.